Hello and welcome to the seventh devlog of Coco Loco. Over the past month, I've been chipping away at tasks. In actual fact, yeah, wow, there is a lot more code here than last time. So, what have I done? Well, for starters, with some help from a new friend, the player can now pick up and place items, which is really important to the game. And this has actually allowed me to work more uh, and focus more on polishing the different stages of the customers which you may have noticed now have little squares over their heads. This is to show what stages they're in when placing an order. For now, they're just colored squares, but in the future, they'll be similar to that of a Penguin Diner. And not only do NPCs know what they want to order now, we actually have two more managers in the game scene. Uh, for those who might not be familiar with what this process is, managers are just scripts which store functions and handle general information uh, for something to happen within the game. And you can see here, I've added a table and kitchen manager. The table manager is responsible for each customer sitting at a specific table. So when they order, receive an item or leave the table, the table manager is aware of all of that and can act accordingly. And so I've added now that tables have to be cleared by the player to be used by another waiting customer. Um, it also stores the orders of the customers and sends all that stuff to the kitchen manager. The kitchen manager handles orders that the players collected. It then spawns them after appropriate amount of wait time and stacks up orders if there is enough space on the counter. In the future, there'll be more UI to convey what orders are being made and what ones are ready. I also played around with the post-processing a bit, adding a subtle motion blur to make things look smoother and made the colors look a little less yellow. Also, I added a vignette to help draw the viewer's focus to the center of the screen where the player is. I also customized the splash screen and started working on a main menu which forced me to settle on a UI design in general. You can see this here with the pause screen as well. In the scene, I placed in a stylized skybox for the background, and I added a simple rotation script to the camera to give it a bit more movement. So it looks like the clouds are moving, but actually it's the camera. It's a little trick for you there. Also, I did the logo, which I'm actually pretty proud of. My only issue with it is that there isn't anything memorable about it. In a sea of indie games, it doesn't really stick out. And in future, I'd love to get a professional to look at it. But for now, this is the official title of Coco Loco. But yeah, that's been everything noteworthy with this update. Looking over the Git repo, this has actually been a really productive month. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.